Let's consider a business scenario. You run a fitness center where you offer monthly subscriptions to your customers. One of your customer, Brandon, goes on a vacation for a few months. Now, there are two important things that you would need to do. First, you would have to stop providing your services to Brandon when he is away or till the time he wishes to subscribe to your service again. And second, you would need to stop billing him or sending him invoices during this period. The first thing that would come to your mind would be to cancel the subscription right away and create a new one for him once he's back. However, canceling subscription in such a case might not be the best option. Here's why. First, canceling subscriptions will affect your reports because the subscription will be marked as cancelled when it's really just halted temporarily to be resumed later on. And second, it will also increase your churn rate, that is the rate at which your customers cancel their subscriptions, which you wouldn't want to happen. This is where the pause and resume feature in Zoho subscriptions will help you handle such scenarios. You can pause your customer subscription for a temporary duration and resume it once you start providing your services to your customers again. With this feature, your customer will not be billed or sent an invoice when their subscription is paused. You can provide a tentative date for their return, which increases the chances of retaining your customers. And additionally, you can also segregate and view subscriptions that are paused. Let's see how this feature works. First, you must enable the pause and resume feature in Zoho subscriptions. Log into your Zoho subscriptions organization. Go to settings and select preferences. Click subscriptions in the left menu. Mark the box enable pause and resume and click save. After enabling this feature, you can choose to pause your subscriptions. To do this, go to the subscriptions module in the left sidebar. Here, you can find all the subscriptions that you have created for your customers. Select the subscription that you wish to pause and click the more button in the top right corner. Select pause subscription. You can choose to pause the subscription immediately or you can choose to pause it on a scheduled date and select the date or you can select to pause it on the next subscription renewal date. In this video, we'll choose to pause it immediately. You can also schedule a date to resume the subscription. If you do not select any date, the subscription will be paused immediately until you resume it. Then click Save. Your subscription will be in the paused status now. Now that you've paused a subscription, let's see how to resume the subscription and make it active for your customer again. In the Subscriptions module, select a subscription in the paused status that you wish to resume. Click More in the top right corner and select Resume Subscription. You can choose to resume the subscription immediately or you can choose to resume it on a scheduled date. In this video, we'll choose this option and enter the date to resume here. The subscription would be automatically resumed on this date. Please note that if the resume date is set after the subscription's renewal date, then the billing date of the subscription will be changed to the resume date. For example, if your monthly subscription is renewed on the first of every month and you choose to resume a post subscription on the fifth of a particular month, then all the subsequent subscriptions will be billed from the fifth of every month itself. Here, enter the reason for resuming the subscription and click Save. Since you have chosen to schedule the resume date, you can find the scheduled date here. If you wish to change this date, click Change Schedule. You can change the date here, enter the reason for this change and click Save. 
If you wish to delete the schedule altogether, click Change Schedule again and select Delete Schedule. By doing this, the schedule to resume the subscription will be deleted. The subscription, however, will remain in the post status until you manually resume it. Your resume schedule is now deleted. After your subscription is resumed, it will be in the live status. You can find a list of all the activities done for pausing and resuming your subscriptions by going to the Recent Activities tab. Let's say you wish to be notified by email when a subscription is paused or resumed, or you wish to send an SMS to your client when the subscriptions are paused or resumed. You can do this and more with the automation feature in Zoho Subscriptions. Let's take email notification as an example here. Go to Settings and select Automation. Here, you can find different automation features such as webhooks, email alerts, and custom functions here. You can create an alert or event using these features whenever subscriptions are paused or resumed. For example, let's try creating an email alert. Here, you can enter the name of the email alert. Select the module as subscriptions. You can select the two events, subscription paused and subscription resumed. Select the email recipients. You can send it to your customers or to the different users in your organization. Enter the subject of the email. Here, type in the body of the email and click Save. Now, whenever a subscription is paused or resumed, an email will be sent to the recipients that you had selected. If you have integrated Zoho subscriptions with third-party apps through Zapier or Zoho Flow, you can create workflows for triggering different actions between the apps. For example, when you use Zoho Flow or Zapier integration, you can update the subscription status in a third-party CRM like HubSpot when you pause or resume subscriptions in Zoho subscription. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of how you can pause and resume subscriptions in Zoho subscriptions. If you have any queries, feel free to reach out to us at support at the rate zohosubscriptions.com. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. Thank you.